Hey guys, what's poppin'? Jacques Slade here, back with another unboxing. And today, I've got something I'm gonna say is inspiring. Something that I, I hope inspires you. Yeah, that's, that's a good way. I hope that it inspires you. As always, I've decided to do a little research on what's happening here in this box. And I do know what's in here, but I'm not gonna expose it yet because I want you guys to follow along with me just a little, a little bit. Now, imagine this. Imagine you and three of your friends decide you wanna start a clothing label. A let's call it, in today's words, a streetwear brand. And you guys start by hand sewing and putting things together yourself. You don't hire somebody. You don't have Photoshop, you just put these things together yourself and you go out on the street and you sell them hand to hand. And the first day you do this, you guys make $800. Do you stop there? Is $800 enough? No, obviously, obviously that's not enough. So you keep going, you keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger until you get to the point where you can actually go to Las Vegas to what they call the magic show. Now this is back in 1994. You go to the magic show, people love your product, and you get $300,000 worth of orders, but it's only you and four of your friends making these clothes and you have no way to make this sort of product. So what do you do? You mortgage your house you believe in yourself so much that you mortgage your house to make things happen. You hire seamstresses and you turn your house basically into a manufacturing production facility. Get rid of your furniture and all you do is work in this house. Now, fast forward four, five years later and now your company is doing $350 million a year. Just imagine that. Started from a vision of you and your friends in a house kicking around ideas of starting a clothing label and let's say five, seven years later, it's worth $350 million. You're doing $350 million in sales in one year. Now, most people don't have the foresight to look that far ahead, but the people and the collaboration behind this shoe right here, they did and I'm inspired by it. And so here we are, and I'm gonna pop that open for you guys. Soon as I get my opening tool, knife, it's X-Acto knife, it's an X-Acto knife. Okay, whatever, anyway. So with that being said, uh, first I wanna give a big shout out to the folks over at Puma. They sponsored this video and made this video possible. So let's get into the box. So when I did the research on this story, cause I knew about this brand a long time ago but I just didn't know the story behind them and how they started. But once I found out the history and everything that went on in order to make this happen, it just blew me away and really got me excited about doing this unboxing for you guys. So as you can see, this is something from the good folks over at Puma. It says, Jacques, what will your legacy look like? Your Puma family. And this is definitely about legacy. This company has sold over $6 billion worth of product in the 25 years that they have been around. And so here you go, it says, what will your legacy look like there on the t-shirt? Nice quality, thick t-shirt. And on the back there, you see the FUBU logo. Yes, in case you didn't know, the company, the brand that I was talking about was FUBU. So FUBU is the inspiration for a lot of the brands that you rock now, for the way that a lot of brands market themselves now. You can thank FUBU for that. They were able to tap, I would say, I would say they were able to tap into the hip hop community in a way that was authentic and pure, which actually makes sense with them going with Puma, who I told you before is authentic to the hip hop community. If you look at B-Boys and the break dancers from back in the day, they were rocking Pumas when they were break dancing and when they were doing the B-Boy stuff and pop locking and all that. This is kind of a collaboration between two people that are rooted in the hip hop community. And it's kind of cool for me to see these two come together. It's almost like a history, a bit of a history lesson in an updated silhouette. So let's check out that silhouette. So again, this is with Puma and FUBU and the model that they're using, so much paper, so, oh, uh, and I see why now, uh, is the Sugi June right there. So let's take these out of the box and get a better look at them. 
So again, I, the, the reason for me to do this collaboration when Puma contacted me about doing this unboxing, I thought it was important to tell the story of FUBU. We see FUBU now and they're a different brand from the way that they started and people look at them differently now. But when they started, they were so authentic to the culture of hip hop that I feel like they really changed the way that streetwear brands, that all these skatewear brands and all of these companies really look at the culture of hip hop and how they market to the culture of hip hop. These comp this company, FUBU, has a lot to do with that. And for them to hook up with Puma on the Sugi June, I just think that's a really dope idea. So let's take a closer look at the shoe. They have the knit, which you guys have seen before on the Puma shoes. This is their version of knit, very soft, obviously sock-like. The Sugi June has the asymmetrical lacing. It has a, it's really, crazy how you can lace up these shoes and you can do all sorts of different designs if you're into that design thing and lace up the shoes to keep them tight. Obviously the red makes this color really pop with the black in the background. I like how FUBU has the black sitting inside of the knit kind of as a background color and kind of it really lets the red shine. For the midsole on these, they're using the Ignite. If you're not familiar with the Ignite, the Ignite is the cushioning that Puma uses. It's been around for maybe two or three years now. I actually had an early pair of the Puma Ignite running shoes and I ran in those a little bit when they first launched. They definitely feel nice. It's definitely a different feeling. Not super bouncy, but it's also not super squishy at all. Like the firmness is just right, so I like it. Now this is kind of a running shoe, but it's more really a lifestyle shoe. Puma is really focusing on the lifestyle market as you see the stuff that they've done in the women's market. And right now they're exposing that world and really opening up that world to the men's market as well. Something that I've talked about quite a bit here on this channel is how I want Puma to take that same aggressiveness that they've hit the women's market with. I want them to hit the men's market with, and I think they're coming around and doing that sort of thing now with the men's market and the Sugi June and this collaboration with FUBU is a part of that. These again have a knit, as I said, they have, I uh, believe this is crushed velvet. That's what I'm gonna go with. Crushed velvet here on the medial side and on the lateral side. Uh, I'm sorry, on the lateral and on the medial side. This, I, I, I'm gonna go with crushed velvet. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but it sounds nice to me. And then on the heel here, they have the FUBU logo here in the stitching, which obviously makes sense considering that they stitched together their first hats. And so they have FUBU stitched here on the heel to kind of bring everything together, which I think is a pretty cool idea. So big shout out to the FUBU guys that started this. There's four friends that started this, a company that has $6 billion in sales over 25 years. And that's nothing to shake a stick at, especially when you started in the living room of your house and selling stuff literally on a street corner in New York City. So hats off to them. I respect the hustle, I respect the game. So this is the Sugi June. They will be available on February 16th, a collaboration between FUBU and Puma. They are 100 and $50. And if you haven't given the Sugi June a try, I recommend you at least giving it a try and putting it on your feet to see how it looks. The toe down on these looks really, really dope, especially the way that they use that pattern on the knit. I really like how they did that. So that being said, guys, I'm Jacques Slade. Make sure you stay tuned because I got a lot of cool stuff coming up for you guys in the next couple of days. As always, I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, let's wrap this video up. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.